What's going on guys? This is Matei with Tech Vitamins. Um, today I want to take a look at the new Cyanogen Mod 7 for the HTC Thunderbolt. Um, this is Canada release uh, number 4 I believe. And it is very stable. I'm very glad they finally put this out on the Thunderbolt. Um, it was a long time coming and I want to definitely thank the Cyanogen Mod team for doing this. Um, you know, since I had the Nexus 1, this, I've been hoping they were going to release this for this phone. And especially for the HTC phones, it always seems to be very, um, you know, stable and very cool in terms of what it does to the performance of it. Um, so I guess let me start first with, uh, I guess, some of my favorite things on here. One of my favorite things probably will have to be the pull-down notification bar of what you can do with it. Um, a couple of cool things is that you can very quickly get rid of your notifications of different things that are in queue right there, just like that. Um, the very cool thing is that the power feature at the top of the little, you know, the toggle switches between um, like wireless internet or uh, tethering and so forth is right at the top. is always available for you, so I don't, you don't have to um, put it on your screen anymore. It's right there, and you know I do tether a lot, pretty much all every day. Um, and a couple of my key. Uh, features that I need at all times are right at the top available for me. Um, another cool thing is that the flashlight is all of it also available right away. You can turn it off very quickly. So that's very cool. Um, another thing about the top notification bar is that let's get into some settings I guess in Cyanogen Mod. Um, if we go into menu and settings, go to Cyanogen Mod settings, I'm going to go ahead and go through these briefly. Um, you know, application basically this allows you to set uh, your applications to be stored to your uh, storage or to your SD card instead of the hard drive, which uh, can improve some performance at times, but also depends on your memory card. If you have a you know class two, four, or six, uh, that actually makes a lot of difference. So make sure you check that before you do decide to put um, applications on your SD card because that determines how fast that can be accessed and run on your phone. Taking a look at display, there's not much in there from previous Synergy mods. I mean, you can set your rotation settings here and uh, screen on animation and screen off. Automatic backlight, not much change from previous versions of Synergy mod. Um, input, this is basically setup of your keyboard and different buttons on your phone. I don't use this too much because I use um, the Flex T9 keyboard for my phone and I don't usually set up the settings of how to turn on, turn on the phone or turn it off. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. So basically, if I set volume rocker to wake, instead of having to deal with the power button at the top, which sometimes can be annoying, I can just deal with the power down button. Makes it a little faster, but then it's not so cool if you're listening to music and you want to turn the power down or up. But, uh, you know, that's up to you how you want to do that. Um, the interface, this is one of my more favorite uh, options that you can set up here especially with the status bar tweaks. Now this will give you the options to modify your status bar at the top. You can do different things like see the percentage of your battery juice instead of just a battery icon. Um, you can change the font or the size of the date and the time and how it looks. Um, you know, and uh, different things. So this is definitely something you want to check out on here. Uh, so, you know, notifications, there's not much colors you can set on the HTC Thunderbolt unfortunately I think you got uh, some choices between red orange and green you know so it's not like what it used to be on the Nexus one we had the trackball and you can literally get any type of LED color um, available and set up for notification so I don't really bother to set it up but you know you, you still can control it if you wanted to if you just wanted to see green constantly or orange or you know certain blinking patterns for notifications you can go ahead and do that um, not much Cool things here, you know, just setting up the over scroll effect if you want it to be smooth or choppy, things like that. Um, performance is actually very cool, even though they tell you not to mess with this unless you know what you're doing. But what I really like about this is the CPU settings. Now, instead of having to get applications like Set CPU or other overclocking apps, you could simply set your profiles in here, which they call governors, which we see right here, and you could definitely um, increase or decrease your CPU overclocking frequency and on the HTC Thunderbolt which I was very surprised you can overclock this bad boy up to 1.8 giga, uh, gigahertz almost so you know definitely 
definitely something cool to have, especially when I upgraded to my uh, extended Cetio battery, the 3200 milliamps. So now you know I can actually turn up the CPU frequency and not have my phone down like two hours. But I actually do use set CPU for now, and I haven't messed with the uh, Synergy Mod uh, Seven settings on the CPU overclocking, but. I think I may try it um, down the line. Um, performing a sound is your kind of basic or you know regular uh, Android sound settings. It could be pretty cool. And other than that, that's pretty much else. I mean, that's pretty much it for the settings as they are. All right, moving right along. Let's take a look at a couple of uh, other cool things with this new update. Um, for example, if I'm playing Pandora here um, and I turn off the phone, the power button, and I turn it back on, the cool thing is that you have, and it's kind of hard to see because of the background that I have, but right here we got the uh, music control settings. You can go you know, forward, backwards, or pause it, which is definitely cool if you're running or anything like that. Unfortunately, you don't have the thumbs up and thumbs down for Pandora but it's still cool you know this you, of course you get the same music settings on the front screen um, for the regular Android music player um, let's see one thing they brought back which I always like about Sanaj Mod and you know bring it back to the original um, Android vanilla system is that when you make a shortcut for a, a favorite contact for example and you click on it, it kind of brings up all the options you have to contact a person you can do it through you know, text phone Google Talk, mail, and um, this one actually doesn't have Facebook on there. It should it, it should have Facebook on there? I just set this up a few weeks ago. I haven't had that much time to play with it, um, but that's another cool feature. One huge improvement um, with on the HTC Thunderbolt specifically is the GPS access time. Um, before, when I was running the 2.2 Android version on the rooted phone. I mean, on the rooted version of HTC Thunderbolt, I mean, sometimes it would take literally minutes to access the GPS settings. And for certain apps, like for example, my Runtastic Pro over here, which I use when I run to track my mileage and speed, it would sometimes would never access it unless I would go to my car GPS application first and then access it. Now it's pretty much instant. Second thing is battery life has improved a lot on the HTC Thunderbolt because of the Saja Mod. Um, update let's see going further we can look at our apps and you know this is not just a sign mod update but it happens to be of course because it's part of the 2.3 android you can set up different um, groups for your apps so for example here i have all my applications that are available or i can set up groups here's one called settings for example and i can by clicking on settings um, i can set up the group and go through all my apps and kind of check them off to uh, place them in these different groups that are selected. Uh, let's see if anything else pops to mind. Let's look at the camera. What I like about the camcorder is that I can very easily switch it to front and back through this. Um, there we go. You can see me in the camera. So it's, it's much easier to switch than it was before. Before, when HTC Thunderbolt I had to click on menu settings and I had to uh, choose which camera I was using. So that's definitely pretty cool. I can very um, easily access my videos or pictures. Let's take a look at some pictures. And again, this is very uh, my favorite display of uh, pictures and your videos on the phone. Let me take a look at. There we go just like it used to be on the Nexus 1, which is, to me, is awesome because, you know, if you shift your phone, you got these cool effects. It's just, I think, a much better way of organizing your pictures and albums. Um, this is cool, the contrast and saturation, which now has kind of like a fader uh, manipulation right here, so I can play with it very fast. I like that a lot. Um, and I can set the location on and off very quickly. So pretty much all the settings that I always wanted to access are right here on the screen. Well, another cool feature of uh, the new update is the market, of course. It gives you the, um, and let's go back to the regular market. It gives you the new 2.3 version of the Android market, which has you know better um, reviews of the apps. Sometimes it even gives you the ability to look at videos for apps. 
uh, just more information about it, better organization in terms of uh, how you can search for your favorite apps, and now you even have access to books and different things, so it's very cool now. Um, if you cannot, if you don't know how to update to this newest market, because sometimes you can't find it um, through the market itself or the older one, you can't just update that easily, uh, let me know. But I'm, what I'm also going to do is I'll post a link on this video to give you access to the file where you can update it and you'll manually have to update to the newest market. But it's another, you know, cool added feature of uh, CM7. Another big improvement um, on the CM7 update is the ability to switch between 4G and 3G connection. Um, but on the uh, HTC Thunderball previously, running the 2.2 version when it, when it was rooted, sometimes when it uh, switched to 3G, first of all, it took forever to switch to a signal um, of 3G that it was able to find, and I really felt like when it switched to 3G that it was just dirt slow. I mean, that's not the 3G I used to remember uh, on my Droid X, which, has, which I had right before this phone, and it was just ridiculous. You know, the 3G was not working very fast and not properly at all, but now it's much faster. The switching back and forth is um, almost instant, and the 3G is finally 3G. I mean, what it's supposed to be. Another cool feature for sure is um, the way to reboot and the options that you get when you uh, long press the power key. You now we got the silent mode or airplane right away. Another cool thing is that you can choose a profile now. It's kind of like, you know, in Windows you have different profiles you can sign under, which is definitely another cool feature. And what I really like is the screenshot. If I simply take a screenshot, just took a screenshot of this phone and I can go into my images and take a look at it. And let's go also take a look at what we got when we go to reboot. Um, it can take me to recovery, bootloader, or reboot right away, which is definitely much easier um, to deal with when you have to flash different radios or uh, different kernels into this. So you'll be able to go right into the bootloader or recovery to do whatever you need to do. Before you put Silent Gem Mod 7 on HTC Thunderbolt from your stock 2.2, even if it's rooted, you have to flash a new radio and of course you can do everything through um, a ROM manager it's very easy as long as you uh, download ROM manager and if your phone's rooted you can already do it and you simply go to download ROM signage your mod so there you go it's easy as that and you know pretty much does everything for you if you already have your phone rooted if you have any questions or if you want me to look at any particular settings for this phone um, running Sonogen Mod 7, let me know, write in our comments.